you feel that Riff Raff is essentially wearing blackface? Yes, I think he's clowning black people. You can rap it in comedy and, and, and act like, oh, he's just a crazy boy and, you know, that's just him, da 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 da. And, you know, I don't even know his full background and all that. He could have, he could have grew up around black people. I don't give a fuck. Like, to me, when I see him, the shit he does and, and how he dresses and all the extra shit he does with the front, he, fronts, it's like, it's like a minstrel show. Like, he's being a caricature of what he thinks black people look like you know what i mean and 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 your girl is a caricature of what she thinks black people sound like so this is like lyrical minstrelism to me you know it's doing everything short of putting the black face on because that's looked down upon now you see but Black people are still able to get away with it, though. Black people are able to get away with the white face shit under certain certain circumstances. You know what I mean? This whole thing of being a caricature came up before when, when Riff Raff uh, went to Hot 97. And this is essentially what Ebro told him in person. And, you know, what he said was, he said if he was, you know, just trying to you know be a caricature of it and you know, try to pretend to be something you know all his tattoos and everything wouldn't be real like he actually you know tattooed you know what i mean his expression on him to show how how serious he was about it so what oh please that don't mean shit motherfucker you tattooed some shit to make us feel like you was real about it. You just sacrificed your skin. You don't give a fuck about yourself. You'll put whatever on your fucking skin, probably. You know what I mean? As long as it's going to help you get ahead and get some money and all this type of shit. That don't mean shit. Oh, I tattooed the shit on his she? So doesn't that make me real? Get the fuck out of here. You know what I mean? That don't mean shit to me. That don't mean shit to me. Where you, you know... Was Riff Raff down in Ferguson marching with the black people? No. Was he anywhere doing anything when black people are struggling? Is he there? No. So knock it the fuck off. You're here to make money. You knew that you needed a gimmick to stand out because, you know, white rappers are, are hardly even looked at most of the time unless, you know, there's something about them that's going to make you look. So you knew you weren't probably as lyrically good as an Eminem or something like that. What can I do to make these motherfuckers look at me? Hmm. Ah, I know. I can act a fucking fool and wear crazy shit and, you know, act like a Fruity Pebbles fucking looking motherfucker, you know. And I could magnify this hip hop shit and and, and, and its absurdities, and, and I, I can just wear that, and that can be my persona. I actually like Riff Raff. I, I like him as an artist. I, I think. Listen, I don't listen to Riff Raff. The shit I've heard sounds okay. like some bullshit to me. Well, I mean, he got a song called Cocaine that I like, which is a more of a rock song. It's okay. about doing well, cocaine. Stick to your lane, yeah, rock song. Probably would like that as opposed to his hip hop shit. I mean, I feel that that riff raff, um, you know, although he works with certain black artists, he has a primary, primarily white male. Of fan course, base. he do because black people don't fuck with shit like that. We don't see. The people that most white rappers think are the shit black people don't fuck with. Because most of the time, like, they're rhyming about some crazy shit that, that black people don't fuck with. Like, and I took a whole bunch of pills and then I fucking killed my, stabbed my mom. And then I fucking, you know, it's just like they try to think of the craziest shit to say sometimes. Like... And we're not into that. Like, you know, we had a small little time when, 
you know, niggas was on some horrorcore shit, and I wasn't even fucking with that, really. The, the best shit of that was Grave Diggers. But anything out of that, you know, was kind of like, uh, okay, enough with this horrorcore shit. You know, like, we're just trying to say, see who could say the most ghoulish rhymes and all this bullshit. Like, that's what it seems like a lot of white rappers are into. Like, what's the craziest shit I could say, you know? Like, they'll talk about fucking their little sister or some taboo shit. Like, white rappers try to say a lot of taboo shit. And I'm just, we're just not into that as black people. And it's funny because I, we just heard Ryan Phillippe on Sway in the Morning. And he's, you know, he's into hip-hop and all that. And he DJs. He told this nigga Sway, you know, I don't really do the white rapper thing. <laughs> he said, I don't do the white rapper thing. I'm not all into Eminem and all that like you might think I am. I said, oh, there we go. I'm fucking with this dude right here. <laughs> I'm fucking with him because just because he's white doesn't mean he fucks with white rappers. Because a lot of white rappers, when you keep it real, are fucking corny. Even if they phonetically know how to put words together and make them rhyme and flip them and twist them and all that type of shit. The, the, the quality of what they're saying is not some shit that resonates with black people. Uh, Action Bronson, you know, we, Jenny Boom Boom interviewed him for black. Action Bronson is one of the closest ones, but even he be saying, sh talk about raping prostitutes and shit like that. You know what I mean? He be even saying some crazy shit, but he, I fucks with Action Bronson, but he even be saying some crazy shit too. You see? But he knows he gotta say that because a lot of white people attract to that. You know what I mean? But he's the type that black people, his music resonates with black people, I'll say, more than most white rappers' music. You know what I mean? Like, I listen to some Action Bronson shit, and because of the beats and the way he's rhyming and all that, I'm like, I could fuck with this. I could listen to this. You see? But some of that shit, man, even with the most open mind, y'all cannot listen to some of these fucking, some of these white, some of not even just white rappers, man, but we're talking about white rappers right now, so that's what I'm saying, but it's, some of it is just rappers, period. You know what I mean? But for, for the most part, yo, these, a lot of these white rappers rhyme about some corny shit that, that doesn't resonate with black people, period. Well, Action Bronson said he's not palatable to white America. That's true and false. You see... His style is not so commercial. You see, his style is more true to, to hip-hop. So maybe that part of it is not as palatable to white America. But just him being white makes him palatable to white America. You see, like, and I think he means mainstream white America. Because if you go to an Action Bronson show... Guess who's going to be the majority of the people in the crowd? White people. It's just not mainstream white people. He's, he's not palatable to the same white person that likes, you know, maybe a Macklemore or, a, or a, um, Iggy Azalea. But just by him being white makes him palatable. Period. You see? So I agree with what he's saying and I disagree. 